Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of jonathanasley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, why most men love bomb. And it's not what you, th it's not what you think. <laughs> All right, really quickly before we get started, if you're in a relationship with someone and you're pulling your hair out trying to figure out What's his real intentions? Where is this relationship going? Is he really serious or is he going to ghost me? Then check out the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me to see if working with a coach might help you resolve your relationship query. All right, let's just jump into love bombing. Now, many of you have heard about love bombing from the perspective of the narcissist. And basically it goes something like this. The narcissist will love bomb. In other words, just... Um, give a lot of loving attention in the early stages of dating, mating, and relating to win you over, to convince him to uh, convince you to be into him. They can say, I love you very quickly. And oftentimes it's rooted in their insecurity because they don't actually love on themselves. So they need you to love them to make them feel good about themselves. Let me repeat that. They need you to love them so they can feel good about themselves. So they will give a tremendous amount of, of loving affection uh, in the early stages to hook you, to grab you, to pull you in. Okay. So, and I'm sure many of you have experienced this, but I'm actually not talking about today. I'm not going to talk about how the narcissist goes about this. I'm going to talk about the average guy who actually does this as well because the average guy can love bomb as well. And you might be thinking, God, Jonathan, this is a little confusing, but let me explain what's really going on inside the average guy. And I'm going to put myself in the average guy category. And the average guy, it goes something like this. You meet a girl, you like a girl, you get excited. You meet a girl, you like a girl, you get excited. We get excited when we like someone, when we feel like there's a connection, when we feel chemistry, when we feel that dopamine rush, when we feel our testosterone increase, we get excited. And we have a potential habit. We have a habit of love bombing as well. But love bombing looks a little bit different for the average guy because what he's actually most likely doing is what I call trying it on for size, trying it on for size. In other words, trying the relationship on for size. So we do things like this. Could be first date, second date, third date. <laughs> I've done this so many times, I can't believe. I, I do what I call futurizing. I try it on for size. I see, what's it like to have this person in my life? What would it be like to go on vacation with them? And, and I'm saying, God, it'd be so great if we go on vacation or it'd be so great if you meet my friends or it'd be so great for this. We're literally trying you we're, we're trying to fit you into our lives in fact i believe my friend allison armstrong calls it the cut and paste i keep by the way i keep doing this right cut and paste in other words we're cutting pasting you into our lives to see how you fit that's why i call it trying it on for size and so it's not uncommon that we men these us average guys who get excited will love bomb you a little bit. And, and so how do we differentiate between the two? Because that's really the challenge. How do we differentiate between the person who's the average guy and the narcissist? You know, I think it's almost impossible to differentiate the two, but what I want to invite you to do is ask yourself, did you put this person up on a pedestal? Did I put this person up on a pedestal? Because the person who love bombs and you put them up on a pedestal, meaning their, their perception of me matters more than my own perception of me, means you're possibly giving your power away. Because here's what happens. The, you know, the average guy is going to even out over time. The average guy is going to be consistent in his words. He's going to show up very... Um, very caring of your feelings. I mean, if this turns into a relationship, he's going to care about your feelings. He's going to make you happy. But the narcissist will begin to become more selfish. And the challenge is if you put him up on a pedestal, you can start leaning towards that narcissist who's been love bomb you because you've given your power away to him. You've literally given your power away and now he's got you hooked. But he's got you hooked because 
you gave your power away. Whereas the, when, for, by the way, the woman who is solid in her self-love, who's solid in her confidence, repels narcissists very quickly. I mean, they don't stick around for very much long, very long, because they're so centered in themselves, they don't, they, they literally repel narcissists. But I'm not, they're not going to repel the guy who's the anxious guy who's excited because that's the guy you want. You want the guy who's excited about you. Now, if you're concerned about being attracted to a narcissist, then I highly recommend my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Because it's all about firming up your self-worth, your self-confidence, your self-reliance, your self-discipline. So you don't have to worry about if a guy's love bombing is coming from a disingenuine place of insecurity or it's just coming from a place of excitement like where most guys are coming from. I love getting excited about someone and I'm sure you love getting excited. Ladies, you do this too. You, you try on his last name. <laughs> Come on, you've done this before, I'm sure. You've tried on his last name to see how he fits. That's just, that's just human nature. That's just part of the dance. And we call it love bombing, but really all it is is enthusiasm and excitement. And yet, sadly, for the insecure person, they need love bombing to convince you to like them. So if it's overt and it's just too much and if it feels so smothering, then that might be a clue. And again, if you put this person on the pedestal, you're screwed. I mean, that's, that's, that's dating 101 no-no. Don't put someone up on a pedestal. Because then you don't have to worry about if they they flake on you because you're so solid in your sovereignty, you're solid in your self-love that it doesn't really matter what they do. What matters most is how you feel about yourself. Because the trap of the love bomber is, again, they need you to love them for, you to, for them to feel good about themselves. But if you buy into it, that's because you need them to love you for you to feel good about yourself. And the narcissist doesn't love you because they're so dependent upon that. This is much deeper and certainly in my private coaching program, I help women decipher between those guys who are genuine, high quality guys versus the average guy versus those guys with issues that you may want to stay away from. I certainly can help that in my private coaching. You can check out the link below to schedule a call with me on that as well. All right, I've given you the short cliff, ver the, sh the cliff note version of love bombing, but again, it's just enthusiasm for most guys. That's all it is. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just men being human. All right. Uh, I hope you found value in this video. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Please post a comment below if this resonated with you. If you've got something to say, I certainly I want to hear it. If you've got a question of me, post the question. I read almost all of them. I'd love to get a dialogue going with you. I don't necessarily respond to all, um, but I do my best. All right. Uh, I'm going to wrap up this video today as I always do going forward. Uh, first off, giving myself a big gigantic hug of self-love and I'm going to ask you to give yourself a big hug of self-love. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone next to you and give them a hug because we all need hugs because hugs is a great form of love and we can all use a lot more love. <laughs> Wishing you a super duper wonderful, fantastic day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.